All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the pizza calculator. This is part of 2.1 um, conditionals. So as we can see over here on the right, our description is the best pizza is the one where you get to pick all the toppings, design your dream pizza, and find out how much it costs. The input we need is the choice of several options of toppings. Our output is the pizza price. Here's our requirement. We're going to repeatedly increment one variable to keep track of the price. Use if statements to use if statements to determine whether or not you should add um, to the cost. And then our challenges that we can do here is let the user order more than more of the same pizza, meaning do you want multiple pizzas? Um, we can add additional toppings. We can print a summary of the pizza at the end. Um, we can create a running total string. We can do all kinds of other extra things. Okay. So before we get started, let's run solution, see what we got here. So the way this is supposed to operate is we're first going to enter S, M, or L for pizza. We're going to say S for me. Do we want pepperoni? We're going to say Y for yes. Do we want mushrooms? Y for yes. Do we want olives? Y for yes. And then the total cost of my pizza is eight bucks. Woohoo! That's a cheap pizza, ladies and gentlemen. So to get us started right over here, first thing we're going to do is create the variable pizza cost and assign it to zero. So we go pizza underscore cost equals zero because right now we have not ordered a pizza so there is no cost to the pizza. Next thing we're going to do is ask the user what size the pizza should be. S for small, M for medium, or L for large. Assign the result of the variable to size. So we're going to go size equals um, probably going to need integer, I bet, int, parenthesis, input, parenthesis, quotation mark, what size pizza, question mark, S, um, S, let's say S, five bucks, M, seven bucks, or L, L, uh, 10 bucks. Okay, and then we close out, whoops, I need my quotation mark first, and then close out both of our parentheses sets. And let's test that just to make sure it's working, what size pizza, and if I say M, and it's giving me an error because I haven't gotten all the way down to the bottom yet. Okay, all right, so far, so good. Okay, if size equal to S, so we're going to go if size equal equal quotation mark S quotation mark. Colon if size equal equal S. Sorry, I was reading there and I paused momentarily. So if size, if they say S, then we're going to assign pizza cost uh, to start at five. So if sign size equals s we're going to go pizza underscore cost plus equal five okay because remember up here at line nine pizza cost is zero so if they say s we're going to add five dollars to the pizza remember this one right here is indented so that's a tab but you'll notice that i put my cursor here and it kind of auto tabbed for me but it needs to be tabbed over so if is all the way over to the left and pizza cost is tabbed over. So this is our then block of code. It's only going to run if they say S for small. Now let's do the same thing for medium. If P, oops, if size equal equal M colon. You know what? I probably shouldn't have turned this into an integer. I bet that's part of my problem. Let me get rid of that. Don't freak out everybody. Don't freak out everybody because these are not integers. These are strings. So that's why I got that bug up there earlier. Right? Yep, right. Okay. So now we're going to go if size equals medium, assign pizza cost to start at seven. So we'll go pizza underscore cost plus equal seven. And then down here, rinse and repeat, if size equal equal L colon, 
we're going to assign pizza cost plus equal, that's increment by the way, plus equals increment by 10. Now let's test this bad boy. What does it not like? Invalid syntax if size, da da da, what, line 18, let's find this. If size equals s, if size equals s, what is it? Oh, 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 wait a minute. I don't need that. I had an extra quotation mark up there. Okay, now let's do it. Yep. So if size is, let's say, small, program ended, and that's what I wanted. Um, I do want to come up here and give a space, though. I like to space it out. That way, when we answer, it's not all crammed up against the other one. Okay, don't forget, I did change this. So if you did not go back and change yours, fix it. I started out with adding an integer uh, typecast, and I took it out because I realized I didn't need it because these are strings, not integers. I don't know what I was thinking. I haven't had my coffee yet today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go down and talk about topping. So it says, ask the user if they want pepperoni for a dollar. Assign the result to the variable pepperoni. Okay, so we're going to go pepperoni equals input parenthesis quotation mark. Do you want, whoops, do you want pepperoni for a buck, question mark, space, quotation mark, parenthesis, and then if pepperoni equal, equal, y, colon, so actually I'm going to come up here and do this. Do you want pepperoni for a dollar, y, in. I'm going to add that Y in there so they know to answer with a Y or an N. That way I don't have to create multiple if statements to manage all of the possible yes options. So now if pepperoni equal equal Y colon, we're going to increment pizza cost by one. So we go pizza cost plus equal one dollar. All right, and that is tabbed over. So remember, if statements are all the way to the left edge, anything in the then block is tabbed over. Now we're going to ask the user if they want mushrooms. So we're going to say mushrooms equal input parenthesis quotation mark. Do you want, whoops, you want mushrooms question mark. Why, oh, mushrooms for one dollar question mark y apostrophe in space quotation mark parenthesis okay now if mushrooms equal equal y in quotation with a colon at the end don't forget your colon we're going to increment pizza cost by one so we go pizza underscore cost plus oops Wrong one. Plus equal one dollar. Okay, increment means this increment plus equal. Now let's talk about olives. So we're going to say olives equals input parenthesis quotation mark. Do you want olives for whoops one dollar question mark y in space quotation mark parenthesis and if they want olives, we go if olives equal equal y colon. We add another dollar. We say pizza underscore cost plus equal one dollar. Now let's test. We haven't tested in a while. Do I want a pizza? I'm going to say small. That's five dollars. Do I want pepperoni? Yes. Do I want mushrooms? Yes. Do I want olives? Yes. Okay, so far so good. Everything worked. There are no bugs. So now I got to get to my output. So we're going to print a blank line. Print. Open close parenthesis. Print title your order. Print parenthesis quotation mark your order. Quotation mark parenthesis. Print a line of dashes. Print, whoops, not in caps print 
Let's see, quotation mark. Click the dotted line, which is next to the zero. Don't forget your quotation mark and your closing parenthesis. And now we're going to print a message containing pizza cost typecast to a string. So we go print, parenthesis quotation mark, your total pizza cost is space quotation mark plus sign str parenthesis pizza underscore cost parenthesis plus sign quotation mark dollars period quotation mark parenthesis that's a tongue twister all right let's see if we get it to work all right how much is my pizza five dollars do i want pepperoni yes that's six do i want mushrooms yes that's seven do i want olives yes that's eight my total cost is three dollars uh-oh uh-oh what did i do wrong what did I do wrong? I think I did something wrong up here. If S pizza cost plus five. Hang on, children, I gotta look at this. Okay, I think I figured out what I did wrong. So way up here when I was assigning the initial size of the pizza, I was incrementing but I think I should have just started with a base. So instead of incrementing at line 22, pizza cost plus five, it should just be pizza cost equals five. And then the same thing at line 29, pizza cost equals seven, and the same thing at 36, pizza cost equals 10. So I'm gonna make those adjustments and test it out again, okay? So here we go. So now, if I say pizza cost is five, or I want a small, so I'm going to go S for small, so that should be five bucks. Then I'm going to go P, uh, pepperoni, yes, mushrooms, yes, olives, yes. There we go. Now I've got my cost working. Okay, and then you notice, see, I've got my eight and it's smashed up against dollars. That tells me that I need a space down here. So all the way down here, right there. At line 89, I need a space. Whoops. Oh, it's doing the thing again. By the way, when you start to <clears throat> do that and it starts to erase what you typed, here's what you can do. You can highlight. You can go Control X to cut it. Now I can type and then Control V to paste and put it back so I don't have to uh, retype the whole darn thing. Okay? So that's the total cost of the pizza. Um, if we wanted to add anything else to it, I can go print, parenthesis, quotation mark, you included the following toppings. <clears throat> and I can go like this, and then I can concatenate and say STR pizza, nope, it was pepperoni. Pepperoni plus str olive uh, what was next mushroom mushroom plus str olive was it just olive or olives it was olives with an s parenthesis and parenthesis and let's see if that prints as well okay so we're going to go small and I'm just going to say yes for pepperoni, no for mushroom, no for olive, and then, oh, mushrooms has an S on it. Thank you. Let's try it again. And it doesn't like line 93. What did I do wrong? I forgot that. All right, let's do it again one more time. So S, I'm going to say yes, pepperoni. I'm going to say yes, mushroom. I'm going to say no, olives. So <clears throat> your total pizza cost is $7. You included the following toppings. <laughs> why, why, and in. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so I could probably fix that. I could say, um, I can go following toppings. Oh, it's going to do the thing again. Here it is, control X. And I'm gonna say pepperoni. Space. 
pepperoni, quotation mark, control V space, okay. And then I'm going to go right here and I'm going to get rid of this, control X, and I'm going to say mushrooms and put a dash so that the answer will be right up against it. And then I got to do the same thing here because my computer is erasing what I'm typing and say olives with a dash so that my answer is like right up against the dash. Now it should tell me what I ordered. Okay, what does it not like? STR mushroom. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's go back and look. I got mushrooms. I got pepperoni. I need I need a plus sign right there. So I do my plus sign. And I'm gonna need the plus sign here as well. Control X. I forgot my plus sign, folks. Why didn't you tell me? I forgot my plus sign. Alright, now let's try it one more time. Okay, I got a small pizza. I said yes to pepperoni. I said yes to mushroom. I say no to olives. Enter. Total cost is seven bucks. This includes your toppings, pepperoni Y, mushrooms, Y, olives, no. So I need a space. You see right there how it's all smashed together. So I need a space. After all is how much you want to bet, it's going to move my stuff, so let me cut it and paste it back in, so I get my space, <clears throat> and so for this one, guys, we actually did everything we we're supposed to, and I added in one of the challenges, did you notice that, right down here, where was it, it's kind of like the summary, alright, so I summarize what toppings they got at the very end, so that's how you do it. That's how you add in extra stuff. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I had a lot more errors this time than I normally do. But hopefully, as long as you watch the video all the way through and you're listening, you notice that I did go back and I made some changes to this line in this video. <clears throat> I went back and I changed my pizza costs at the beginning so they didn't um, increment this starter value. I just made them equal the starter value so I got rid of the plus signs up here on these three okay and then I also all the way at the bottom you notice I had a lot of errors down here with this final challenge line of code and I corrected that so make sure you double check your own and you don't have those original errors from the video thanks toodles